Welcome back to the back rooms, a mind-bending reality consisting of endless liminal corridors and halls hosting a diverse ecosystem of powerful organisms. If you don't know what the back rooms are, you should definitely watch my other stuff explaining it after this video and subscribe or I will find you and only no clip your skin so you bleed out through your muscle fibers and organs. With that out of the way, let's take a look at more of these entities wandering around these endless halls. Entity 36, known as Cannibal Cuisine, is an anomalous type of vending machine found within the back rooms. They can look like any sort of front rooms brand vending machines. On the back of these machines always reads a tag, Cannibal Cuisine Productions, Iris Family, from humans, by humans, for humans. As of now, no one has a goddamn clue who the Iris Family is or if they even exist at all. Cannibal Cuisines are supernaturally durable and cannot be destroyed using normal methods. <laughs> These machines don't require any payment to operate, and the internal systems seem to be a blend of biological and mechanical. For example, instead of a metal coil pushing the product off the shelf and into the slot, this system uses a skeletal human hand. And instead of a button, like a human, you would use the clit to turn it on. I regret absolutely fucking nothing. All products made from Entity 36 are made from human parts. And like a noble hunter-gatherer should, Entity 36 uses all parts of the animal. Some of my favorites from these vending machines include small blocks of flesh wrapped sloppily with a candy bar wrapper, entire heart, carbonated blood with sugar added, dip in a box, chip bag containing chips made from human bone marrow, skin strips dipped in gum, and my favorite, the fermented alcoholic piss. Every 12 hours, the products within a cannibal cuisine will all be instantaneously replenished, appearing out of thin air. Products that have not been taken will simply remain inside. While safe to consume for most multidimensional entities, products from Entity 36 spike human dopamine levels so much that humans can get instantly instantly addicted to these products. Addicted individuals devote themselves to obtaining as much food as they can from the cannibal cuisines and are willing to risk their lives to do so. What's that saying? Crack addiction doesn't give a shit whether or not you think you're gay? Multiple wanderers that are victim to the same instance of Entity 36 may also attempt to harm one another to ensure more food for themselves. Normal side effects of high amounts of dopamine include euphoria, binge eating, addiction, poor impulse control, heightened aggressiveness… Oh shit. Besides generally inciting an extreme feeling of joy, products from cannibal cuisines may also cause a few other effects. For example, the complete and permanent removal of any prior memories pertaining to cannibal cuisines. Any further information on the entity is wiped from the victim's memory after an average of four hours. They will also be unable to eat other sources of food and water, including almond water. Attempting to eat non-Entity 36 food items will result in the food remaining in the stomach and not leaving via digestion unless removed by other means. They'll also have increased hunger and thirst, regardless of the amount of food the victim has consumed. Sometimes they even hear voices emanating from the cannibal cuisines, which become more and more prevalent during the machine's replenishment and the consumption of a product. These voices are often described as blood-curdling screams, soft yet discomforting sobs, and or coming noises. Most victims recall that these voices manifest in the form of a loved one from their past life before entering the back rooms. Oxids are small, bronze-colored arthropods native to level 61, although they have been sighted on other levels. Eyewitnesses have compared them to crack or pubic lice, albeit much larger and with sharper mandibles. Oxids scurry around various levels searching for objects made out of base metals, such as copper or iron. Much like a snake, they have two glands in the back of their mouths. However, instead of venom, these produce an unidentified acid with the ability to spread rust and oxidation. Once an oxid finds such an object, it will use its acidic saliva to corrode the metal for much easier consumption. If you ask an oxid what that mouth do, the answer would be dissolve. These rusted metals compose its entire diet. Oxids are naturally curious and and will search any bags, containers, or fleshy orifices for something to eat. Tupperware is recommended as a way to keep them out of your belongings, as plastic does not oxidize. Oxids have strong mandibles to help chew up the rusted metal they live on. However, they will use these in combat if they feel threatened or just bored and sadistic. I'm warning you. I never warn you guys, so you know this is gonna be bad. This entity is cursed. And I'm warning you now because the following content is so foul it goes far beyond the not for human consumption nature of most of the cognito hazards I upload. With that being said, allow me to introduce the most cursed entity in the entire backrooms. The Glock 
Duki. This entity empties out a toothpaste tube, fills it with its own feces, urine, seminal fluid, and vomit, and then proceeds to aim the front of the toothpaste tube towards a victim. It will squeeze the end of the tube so as to squirt the contents of the tube out rapidly. This mixture cannot be removed once it touches a person. No known substance can wash the Glock Dookie off. This entity will display different tendencies while in large groups. They've been reported to mass Glock Dookie a victim and then knock out the wanderer with blunt force trauma, pull down their pants, and scream, Get that ass. Soon, a swarm of entities appear and spread the wanderer's ass cheeks open, subsequently spitting into the anus of the unconscious victim. This entity is not cataloged in the wiki or the fandom, and the only place one can find an account of these entities is in a video that I will be linking in the description. It's canon now, and there's not a single fucking thing any of you can do about it. Also, this is the not goldfish. It swims through the air. I'm gonna give you all an AZFK fun fact. I'm 100 meters from your location and approaching rapidly. Start running. That's it for this episode. If you like this video and want us to come back to the back rooms and do some more sus things, make sure to like, comment, subscribe with all notifications enabled, or I'll rip your genitals off and sew them to your forehead. Er, hey, bye. I dropped my phone.